Emily Carr's Clee Wick, Chapter 8, The Stair. Millie's stair was the biggest thing in the hut. It dimmed for a moment as we stood in its way, but in us it had no interest. The moment we moved from its path, it tightened again, this tense living stare glowing in the sunken eyes of a sick Indian child. All the life that remained in the emaciated, shriveled little creature was concentrated in that stare. It burned a path for itself right across the sea to the horizon, burning with longing focused upon the return of her father's whaling boat. The missionary bent over the child. Millie! Millie's eyes lifted grudgingly, then hastened back to their watching. Turning to the old crone who took the place of a mother who was dead and cared for the little girl, the missionary asked, How is she, Granny? I think s'pose boat no come quick. Millie die pretty soon now. Is there no word of the boats? No, maybe all engine man dead. Whale fish and heat, heat bad for make die. They brought the child food. She struggled to force down enough to keep the life in her till her father came. Squatted on her mat on the earth floor, her chin resting on the sharp knees encircled by her sticks of arms, she sat from dawn till dusk, watching. When light was gone, the stair fought its way, helped by Millie's ears, listening, listening out into the black night. It was in the early morning that the whaling boats came home. When the mist lifted, Millie saw eight specks out on the horizon. Taut, motionless, uttering no word, she watched them grow. The boats are coming! The cry rang through the village. Women left their bannock making, their basket weaving, and hurried to the shore. The old crone who tended Millie hobbled to the beach with the rest. The boats are coming! Old men warmed their stiff bodies in the sun shaded dull eyes with their hands to look far out to sea, groaning with joy that their sons were safe. The boats are coming! Quick ears of children heard the cry in the schoolhouse and squeezing from their desks without leave, pattered down to the shore. The missionary followed. It was the event of the year, this return of the whaling boats. Millie's father was the first to land. His eyes searched among the people. My child? His feet followed the women's pointing fingers. Racing up the bank, his bulk filled the doorway of the hut. The stare enveloped him. Millie swayed towards him. Her arms fell down. The heavy plates of her hair swung forward. Brittle with long watching, the stare had snapped.